Leaders on UW campuses across the state are bracing for a quarter of a billion dollar budget cut and new rules about tenure. That's what they face if the latest Joint Finance Committee plan is approved. We sent News 3's Danica Lewis to Platteville to see how the cuts and changes would affect that campus. Pioneers are known for exploring uncharted territory, and that's certainly the case at UW Platteville with a proposed $250 million cut to the UW system. Chancellor Dennis Shields. We've worked very hard to get to the point where we could control our own destiny. It's a little tough when you're taking you know, every biennium, another cut. Enrollment is growing around here with hundreds of more students in the Platteville dorms thanks to the success of the Tri-State Initiative, bringing applicants in from Illinois and Iowa. Shields says he's already facing a $5 million deficit. So we still have another three, two and a half to three million dollars to cut out of our budget. With buildings dating back to the first and second world wars, Shields would like to invest in infrastructure, not to mention more staff instead of less. But he knows if he were to ask for more, he'd come up as empty as campus between semesters. Make some hard choices about even some things that we're good, we're very good at that we can't afford to continue doing. Jobs could be on the chopping block, not what professor and faculty senate leader Charles Cornett wants to hear. It means that I have to consider my options outside of education, and outside of the UW system. And that concern has more to do with changes to tenure proposed by the Joint Finance Committee, which allows schools to fire those longtime staffers. Proud to be a pioneer now, Cornette says it's only a matter of time until this budget trailblazing will bring the system where they don't want to be. I think everyone is deeply concerned across the UW system, including our flagship, about the ability to, you know, attract those bright minds that we need. UW Platteville also offering what's called a voluntary separation program, which gives more senior staff members an incentive to leave. Chancellor Shield says he won't know until next month what kind of impact that program will have.